This is uh, my first conference talk, so I apologize if it's horrible. Bear with me. <laughs> what I'm talking about is cool. So, um, I am John Limondola, and uh, you can find me on GitHub under the same name, uh, as well as on Twitter. I'm going to be talking about Bizarro Lout, which is the beginnings of a tool for Happy to uh, do some static analysis as well as dynamic analysis to help make secure apps. So uh, first, just want to look at why we lack good security tools in Node as it is right now. Uh, one of the main reasons is that uh, JavaScript is pretty free. You can do a whole lot of different things with it. You can use just about any programming paradigm that you want, which means that it's hard to make a static pattern that you can look through in an application and find out, oh, okay, well, this, this particular method is bad. It's an it's a insecure default kind of thing, right? Um, so Happy happens to uh, help that problem a little bit uh, by creating some more structure. Which you can see, we can do this in Rails um, because Rails has clearly defined patterns and secure defaults. It's a lot more structured than most node frameworks are. Uh, that's why you can do things like Breakman, which everybody loves. It's really simple to use, and it works because there's good defaults. Everything's unified. You're using a one consistent library to do your connections to databases and things like that. Whereas in the, the more no modular, modular space of Node, you're going to be using possibly any kind of, of database connection, right? And Node doesn't really have the uh, secure defaults and clearly defined patterns. Uh, instead, you got to handle them yourselves. The trade-off for the freedom is similar to the problem that you're going to find with any complex parser. If you want the parser to handle the input well, you have to define clear structures and fail when the structures are corrupted. When there's no structure, there's no parsing. If you try and put a piece of random binary data into your PDF reader, it's going to crash. Uh, we have a great tool for overcoming this, though, and happy. Validating all data structures is the norm rather than an outlier. It's, it's what people do. The more common thing you'll see in a happy application is validators for everything, which is awesome. Structure in happy is not optional. It's consistent. It's validated. It doesn't let you do a lot of crazy things that other frameworks let you do, which I really, as a security person, I think that's great. Uh, and it allows me to parse the routing table. It allows me to parse various configuration options within the application and actually verify that some of those things are secure. So Lout has already utilized this. And as uh, we saw in one of the previous talks, uh, things like Happy Swagger have utilized this to make auto documentation tools. Uh, so you can see documentations for your routes. Well, I was working on something similar a couple months ago and thought, you know what? I wonder if I could use this to actually test the application and fuzz it without having to give it a whole lot of manual context. And this uh, brings us back to the beginning. The security automation is difficult because there's so little consistent structure in Node. But Happy solves that problem. So. Breakman is to Rails as Bizarre Lout is to Happy. That's kind of what I'm trying to build for, ha for the Happy space. Uh, it's a work in progress. I've begun work on it. I, I had something that has worked, but it's a very, very complex problem. Um, and I'll just say that converting from Happy 7 to Happy 8 completely broke everything. Because when you're dealing with like parsing complex internal routing tables, it's, it's a lot more. Uh, complex of a change, right? So I've got Lout as the foundation um, for the beginnings of the, the parsing of the routing table with some things added on there. Uh, so I can, I can warn about some basic stuff. But there's also parts of your application, like your uh, route handlers themselves, that are still not going to be using a necessarily a set pattern. Like you can use promises or you can use callbacks. You can use any kind of database you want or, or connection library that you want, right? Uh, so that kind of stuff is difficult to parse once again. 
So what I've done is to uh, use that routing table information to pull out your parameters that you're going to be expecting in the API, uh, get types for them like string, number, whatever, find out what you're looking for in the API endpoint, and uh, actually inject a very complicated set of fuzzing algorithms that I don't have time to explain. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool stuff. I'm excited mostly about that part. Uh, so, given the lack of a developer-friendly API in most security tools, they're kind of a pain to work with, even if you do security, they're terrible. Um, I'm sure you're thinking, what constitutes these secure defaults that you're talking about? Is Bizarre Allout really effective? And most importantly, how much time and effort is this going to cost me to actually use? So secure defaults, this is what I have right now. Um, these components were working at some point. Uh, now they're kind of disconnected and I've got to link them back together so unfortunately I won't be able to have a demo. But uh, are there unauthenticated routes is first one. Really simple. You just check the route handler, see if there's, there's a no auth set. Do all the routes have CSRF protection on them? Uh, are the input fields validated or rejected? Do you allow unvalidated input fields? Do you have empty validate? handlers in your routes? Uh, and is there sensitive data being compared insecurely? Uh, I can check that with uh, some simple static analysis stuff as well. So is Bizarre Allout effective? Well, within the first 10 seconds of turning it on, I found a denial of service issue with a process.next stick and a pretty popular module. And last night there was this. So I have a a repeatable seg fault in V8 core. Um, so that was, that was a fun 2 a.m. adventure. <laughs> Here's the bad news, though. It's not finished yet. It's far from ready for production use. Uh, I'm working on it, but I have a day job as well, so I, I don't have a, a vast amount of time to put into this. Uh, but I am working on it as one of my primary projects right now. Uh, so it's, it's currently more of a proof of concept. You can use it if you're interested in that to fuzz the internals of Node and V8, um, but it's not going to be terribly informative for uh, actually figuring out the security of your application right now. But what I want to be able to do with this is basically to, to have a tool that developers can integrate into their testing phase and just run a simple test. It doesn't have to be crazy complicated. It doesn't have to be this huge intimidating thing. You should be able to just put something into your tests and know whether or not you've got routes that you forgot to put an auth handler in. That's not a crazy difficult thing, right? So uh, I want to be able to do that and as well as, as testing for some of those more configuration side of things. I want to make it easy for developers to battle harden their applications. Um, to actually go and, and put more malicious path test cases in there. Because I'm sure most people that write a, a good solid application will write good test cases for it. Um, but most of those test cases are pretty binary. Does uh, this route work when I put good stuff into it? Yeah, okay. Does it fail when I don't put stuff into it? Yeah, okay, it fails. Um, but there's not a whole lot further than that. It's not going to, to be repeatedly injecting, okay, is my parser that I wrote like going to fail? Uh, so that's, that's kind of the roadmap. It's where I'm wanting to head. Um, if you're interested in using it, go ahead and uh, you can start the project. Follow me on uh, Twitter or follow Lift Security and uh, just, yeah, we'll let you know when it's ready or make a pull request, file an issue. But yeah. Thank you.